Welcome everybody to Math Magician 101, where I'm going to try to show you how to be a math magician. And that's where numbers start to move around and they become really, really easy and fun to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. So in the first lesson, um, day one, we talked a little bit about place value. But uh, today let's have a little fun. Let's just uh, show you how creative math can be. Let's punch math in the face. That's right. Uh, I have too many students that who struggle with math, who um, math just beats them up. And so we're going to strike back today. We're going to punch math in the face. We're going to do math. We're going to pull numbers apart and move them around and show you easy ways to do hard math. Don't do hard math when you can do easy math. Here we go. All right. Well, here's one that most people know. 19 plus 17. You could do this, you know, starting from the right and adding to the left. But a lot of people see you can just beat this one up, rip it apart, turn it into a 16. By the way, this is what you do in your head. I'm just illustrating. Steal a 16, bring it over to this, turn it into 20. Now you've got an easy problem. 20 plus 16, 36. Bam. We just punched math in the face. It was awesome. Let's try another one. All right, here's a little bit of a problem that might cause some trouble if you try to do 7 plus 9. I don't remember what that is. And da, 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 da. But you could do it this way. Bam, punch the six, 17, turn it into a 16. Steal that one, bring it over here. So you're ripping one out of here, sticking it over here, turning that into a 10. Now your new problem, again, this would be in your head, 10 plus 16. 26. Bam! Punch math in the face. Try this one on your own. Oh no. Oh no. Super hard. Oh no. Or is it? Steal one from here. Put it over here. 53 plus 20. 50 plus 20 is 73. You got it. Bam. Punched. Math. In the face. All right, here's another one. Now, math can be super creative. There are a lot of ways you could pull these apart. You know, in addition, take one from one number and give it to the other. I'm going to keep this because I love fives. Or should I steal from there? Ooh, I could do it two different ways. Let's do this. Let's steal three. Rip three out of there. Ah, please stop. Turns it into what? 42. And this turns into 100. Answer? 142. Boom, boom, boom. And we just punched math in the face. All right. It works with bigger numbers, too. Let's try this one. Now, there are a lot of different ways you could do this. Here's just one example. Let's rip... 8 right out of that. Turn that into a 10. Let's bring the 8 over here. That turns that into a 40. So 440 plus 10. Much nicer. Hi. 450. Boom. All right, here's another one. Now look at this one. What would you do with this problem? Now, there are a lot of different things you could do, but I like looking at just pulling this one out, sticking it here, you got 20 plus 17. Or I like to think of it as 20 plus 10 plus 7, 37. All right, I hope you enjoyed this little trick. It was a little more fun than the last one, but the last one's more important. We'll be moving on and going back to lesson one, just kind of reviewing, and then I'll be showing some, some even easier tricks for some harder problems. Uh, I hope you find this interesting, and I hope you subscribe, and you can check the website for some practice sheets with all kinds of different problems like this, so you can practice them or quiz a friend. Thanks for listening, and go punch math in the face.